Alright, buddy, get out of here. Alright, I don't care about you. Alright, All right, listen here. We gotta talk, Sega. We gotta talk. So, first, you decline our right to get a Sonic Unleashed uh, remaster or remake, whatever. And now we're doing this. It's not that I hate Sonic Heroes at all. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate Sonic Heroes, but let's dive into this right now. Yo, what's going on, guys? We're in host of Counter X Crash. I was gonna make a video about this yesterday. But then I realized that um, I was really tired during that take, and I did not have a, any energy. So I decided to re-record my segment of Sonic Heroes. But this may not just be a Sonic Heroes remake. This could also be a remake of another Sonic game, across the speculation of five different Sonic games that could be remade. And this remake could also connect to the new initiative that Sega is taking with the remaster of a bunch of classic games, all the way back from the Genesis to the Dreamcast era, which from that trailer that was revealed at the Game Awards from last year. So there's a lot to talk about in this video. So if you haven't enjoyed, make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see more Sonic and Nintendo content, and leave a like on the video if you enjoy it, as it always helps with the algorithm. And now let's talk about the Sonic remake that is most likely Sonic Heroes. And right you are, Connor X Crash, because this Sonic Heroes remake, I think it's gonna happen. And oh boy, this close. We're this close. This close, a little this close. We're this. This is the. I'm not okay. All right, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not throwing shade at um Sonic Sonic Heroes. Like Sonic Heroes is a quite a decent game, but it's just not from. It, it just wasn't for me. Like I played it. Um, as you've seen, I have a copy of it. I played it when I was like in in middle school. But yeah, I can see why people want Sonic Heroes to get a remake. It definitely needs the work. But we're gonna get into that in a sec. I'll get into my thoughts in a second after we read the news about it. So let's read the news about this. Sega continues to work to expand its portfolio for re-releases for more modern platforms of the most varied games and IPs in its catalog. And a publication made by Zippo, which we are gonna head straight to here because the rest of this does not matter at this point. Well, except for the Midori comment, we're gonna get to that in a second. That's one of the leakers that uh, speculate that Sonic Heroes is gonna get a remake. But we're gonna get into the Zippo remake. Goodbye, Hedgehog Engine. Hello, Unreal Engine. Which that when I when that, that's when I'm like, hey, didn't you just make Sonic Frontiers? Didn't you? Aren't you now making the Shadow Generations expansion for Sonic Generations? Why are we just abandoning Hedgehog Engine now? I'm sorry, I am confused. Although now that makes me to think they aren't going to get rid of Hedgehog Engine forever. I think this is Sega's initiative to experiment with re-releasing old IPs and seeing if they want to move to Unreal Engine. Excuse me, Unreal Engine 5 for future releases from now on, and instead of using their own proprietary engines. Although, they did say, however, no, they did say that they did want to use um, Hedgehog Engine and Dragon en Engine continuing moving forward. They still want to use those engines, so it's not, it's not, obl they're not obliterating their own proprietary engines. They're just using Unreal Engine for these re releases. So Zippo in this league goes over the fact that, hey, we're getting some re releases. You know, I mean, Jet Set Radio, Persona 6. Oh yeah, Persona 6, I forgot about that. Set to release in 2026. I forgot about that. I think that's using Unreal Engine 5, I believe. So this is another one of the games that Sega's pushing out to use um, with the Unreal Engine. And Jet Set Radio was one of the few games that we did see at the Game Awards during that huge collage of trailers that Sega showed off. And I feel like that this Sonic Heroes remake, or whatever Sonic remake they're planning to do, is part of this initiative to re-release old classic games. Jet Set Radio, Shinobi, Golden Axe. But that being said, I feel like this is all part of it. This is all part of this huge initiative that Sega's doing to re-release old, old classic games. <laughs> Which brings us to our blue blur. Oh boy. So we're gonna read this part. Uh, so Zippo says here, and I quote, I have this very much on the record that Sonic Team are leaving the Hedgehog Engine 2 behind and will gradually be going into Unreal Engine within the next few years. Now here's the thing. I don't think they're gonna abandon Hedgehog Engine. I just feel like they're only gonna use it for the mainline Sonic releases. But I could definitely see why they would want to leave behind the uh, Hedgehog Engine because not only is Unreal Engine the leading um, game engine for like in the industry, but also um, just proprietary engines just co just cost more to make. It's just it's a lot more work to be put into and put into everything. It's like it makes sense why they would want to move to the Unreal Engine, and I can see why they would want to abandon Hedgehog Engine. But we'll see what happens. I I, I in my opinion I do not think that they'll be leaving Hedgehog Engine. Um, soon enough. Maybe within the next decade, but for now, I think they're gonna stick with Hedgehog Engine for at least another, I think for at least another mainline game. Here's, the, here is the meat and potatoes. Here's the steak and potatoes. The nice seasoned steak, seasoned steak. Sake? Sake? Steak? Steak? I, I can't speak today. Uh, in fact, the full-on Unreal Engine 5 powered remake of a big, important seminal 3D Sonic game has entered production at Sonic Team recently, and I guarantee it's going to turn this fan base up, down, and all around. 
Although he narrows it down to five song titles, three of which that I believe are going to be remade, and then the other two, which I do not think are going to be remade, because if this is part of Sega's initiative to re-release old classic games, then the last two that, that he mentions here are definitely not going to be remade. Um, they could, though. It's still there, but I feel like it's a lower possibility in my opinion. But the first three... Sonic Adventure, which it checks out. It really it does check out. Sonic Adventure, we've been wanting a Sonic Adventure remake for so long. They did scrap it originally. Well, they didn't scrap it. They just shelved it. They shelved the original Sonic Adventure remakes they were doing back in 2014 uh, when Sonic, the Sonic Boom catastrophe happened. But yeah, I could see them pulling out the work that they had being done behind the shelves, maybe polishing up what they did. It, this, is, this isn't happening this year, by the way. This is happening around like two or three years from now. And that's what Midori's comment does say on the Universal Nintendo uh article it says right here according to Midori, sega would be still considering the remake of the title and not and not already in its development phase so arrival window for the next three years at least is uncertain considering that its production will not would have would not have started yet so with that being said not coming out this year so definitely sonic adventure remake could still be happening it could still be happening here it need that would be probably the most expensive to make because not they would they, that, that Sonic Adventure remake will have to almost, it would have to be almost perfect. It would have to be just perfect enough to blow everything out of the water. It has to, no, no pun intended. But, but yeah, Sonic Adventure definitely is still up there. Um, I feel like the, it will still be, like the Sonic Adventure remakes, even with Sonic Adventure 2, I'm gonna dive into that right now. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 are held near and dear to the fans of this community, including myself. Like Sonic Adventure 1, I have very strong feelings for. I think it's it's a phenomenal game, um, from the music to the story to just you know the the chaos and the akin the tribe, a everything about it's just it's just so like everything about it is just so I don't know nostalgic is that the word I'm looking for I don't really know man <laughs> but like it's a big deal you know it's a really big deal mm. and if Sega were to screw this re remake up then oh boy and then the one that everyone is speculating right now Sonic Heroes now. I mean, listen, Sonic Heroes, this is the this the one out of all the others would make sense, considering the fact that not only would Sonic Heroes be cheaper to make than the other, so it would, Sonic Heroes would still be expensive to make for a remake, don't worry, like, in game development, it would still be expensive to make, but, like, for, um, besides Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, where that would have to be almost near perfect, it would have to, like, literally be, it would have to be on par, or not on par, or, like, five times better than the originals. It would have to be. It ha it, they can't screw up the adventure remakes. There, there, can, there can be, like, little to no screw-ups on those adventure remakes. So for them to do a Sonic Heroes remake, where the physics and the controls and the, the voice the voice acting is just all over the place. It's just, oh, the, the physics. The physics especially and the controls. Ay, ay, ay. So it makes sense for Sonic Heroes to get a remake alongside all the other games that Sega has announced are getting remakes like Crazy Taxi, Shinobi, Golden Axe. Jet Set Radio. It all makes sense. It all it all makes sense at this point, considering the fact that it would go right up. It would make sense to be next 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 to all those classics that Sega released back in the day. So, and it's not that I've never been a. And it's not that I hate Sonic Heroes. It's not that I dislike it. Like, don't worry. It, it was a great entry for um Sega because this was Sonic's first um game outside of the Sega console ecosystem. It was outside of the Sega um Sega console market. This was right after Sega left the console market. So I feel like this was a great entry for Sonic to go once for Sonic going third party back then in 2004 but like I mean it, 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 that's it I this is probably one the one that's gonna get the remake Sonic Heroes is probably the one out of all of these that's gonna get the remake and you know I, I'm just got to deal with it Sonic only Sonic Unleashed fans will win someday and then oh boy oh boy these two are a bit of a a bit of a spicy one Sonic 06 and Sonic Unleashed now Sonic 06 I'm just gonna say right now. While Sonic 06 definitely could use the work, do we really need a Sonic 06 remake? I mean, that would be the wildest decision, in my opinion. I do not think that they are gonna be re remaking Sonic 06. I think they want to bury this, but not bury this into the ground where no one can find it <laughs> again or play it. Um, and hey, we got Chaos X reviving it with Project 06, so you know. And then the one that I really want to talk about is Sonic Unleashed. And I feel like Sonic Unleashed's night... I think the night stages in Sonic Unleashed do need a redemption arc. And don't get me wrong, Sonic Unleashed is still one of the... Like, the graphics in Sonic Unleashed still hold up to this very day. And honestly, not only do I hold a special... Not only is there a special place in my heart for Sonic Unleashed, and I have a personal connection with the game, 
but it was like the very first Sonic game that I ever played. And like, I I really do, like, I, I really do think that this game deserves a remake. I don't know why, like, I don't, know, I don't know why some fans are just saying, no, we don't need this. Like, seriously, who wants a Sonic Unleashed remake? Just go play it on the Xbox Series X and S. But the thing about it is, we need that PC port. I, I know, oh my gosh, oh, the PC port. <laughs> but listen, man, like, the story in this game is very much um, underrated. I think the Werehog needs a redemption arc. The Werehog definitely got a little too much hate. Not a little, like a lot of hate when um, it was first revealed and when people started playing the Night Stages. I do think that even though the Night Stages take an, an, an outrageous amount of time to complete the Night Stages, I really do think that they could be reworked. And I think if they, they full-on remake the Night Stages along with like some of the physics for the um, and animations for the, the Day Stages, I feel like that a Sonic Unleashed re-release could be really awesome. And if they were to do something like the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition where they add another story next to the Unleashed remake, and put it with the Unleashed uh, remake or re-release, that would be awesome. You know, that would be pretty cool. I feel like that would do really well. I think adding like another story on Unleashed, connecting and wrapping the events around maybe with like Frontiers and Unleashed together, I feel like that'd be really good. I think that'd be really cool. I think that they could do something cool with this one. And maybe with all the other ones too. I mean, maybe with, maybe with Heroes, but I think with Unleashed, they could do something really cool with it. I think they could. I think they could really expand upon the story. Maybe we could. They could. They could find. The, they could actually have the opportunity to bring Chip back. And I know Chip died. I mean, he's not. Chip's not dead. He's just in his. He's back in his eternal slumber. But maybe they could. Maybe they could find a way to like you know bring him back some way. Maybe like in some memories or whatnot. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. But like I just. Come on, man. What's the hate with Unleashed? What's the hate with Unleashed? Like seriously. Why, if you if you think Unleashed doesn't deserve a remake, tell me why in the comments below. I want to know. I want to know what your problem is with Unleashed. Let me know. What's your problem? But yeah, out of all five of these, it's going to be Heroes, in my opinion. Although, if it's Unleashed, though, it's going to be the happiest day of my life. <laughs> it's going to be the happiest day of my life. <laughs> but yeah, Adventure 1 and 2, the very low prob very, very low probability. Let's all go 6 to Sonic Unleashed are the lowest, the pro lowest of the five. Adventure 2, 1 and 2 could still happen, but... Not as likely as Heroes, and if we're if we're talking about the same initiative that Sega's taken with these classic games and re-releasing them in Unreal Engine 5, Heroes is definitely the one, to, definitely the one to um, be a contender here. Well, yeah, for now I'm gonna leave it here, but yeah, this is this is definitely gonna be very interesting to see unfold over the next couple of months. What do you guys think about this Sonic Heroes remake? What do you think about this speculation about this going towards? Because I I honestly believe that this whatever this remake is. It is part of this initiative, and this initiative is going to continue for the next several years. And honestly, I'm all for it. And that would mean we could possibly finally get... If Heroes is first, then the next remake, if the initiative continues after the Heroes remake releases, we could finally possibly get that Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 remake. Finally! We might finally get it. And honestly, I am all for that, considering that most of these games that they've shown were during the Dream, like from the Genesis to the Dreamcast era. The the trailer, the games that were shown in that trailer, the Game Awards were from that those eras of gaming. So I honestly do think that if Heroes is first, we could possibly get the Adventure One and Two remakes. Or if those games are first, then you know what I mean. It could be it could be those or the other. So definitely, let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Um, what do you guys think about um, Sonic Adventure One and Two getting a remake? What do you think about Sonic Heroes getting a remake? Do you think? That we need a Sonic Heroes. I mean, we okay. We obviously need a Sonic Heroes remake. There's no, there's no dodging the bullet. We need it. It needs work done. But do you want a Sonic Heroes remake, or do you think that we need that Sonic Unleashed remake first? Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you haven't enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave that like down below, as it always helps with the algorithm, because the algorithm on YouTube is bullshit. And subscribe if you want to see more Sonic and Nintendo content on the channel. We do a lot of stuff around here. We do a lot of live streams. Uh, we'll do a lot of video. I'm, I'm starting to pop out more videos. Just work with me. Bear with me. I'm trying to get back into the groove of making videos again. Um, I do have a couple more big videos coming out soon, so make sure you stay tuned for those. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just chillax and chill for now. and watch from the sidelines as all of this unfolds. And so until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.